Good afternoon. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts and I thought I would show you our next project which is a junk journal. This is a paper pack by Jen Bishop and it is called Medieval Romance. It is a digital collection that comes with um, 10 papers, five pockets, five pocket envelopes, tags, and an ephemera sheet. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I, I There's so many I want to make, but I saw this and I absolutely have to make a journal out of it. So I thought I would show it to you. And we'll just take a walk through the papers right now. And I'll show you what other papers I have to go with it. So that was the first page. Here's the next one. And I will link Jennifer Bishop's uh, website down below. And she also has an Etsy site. And I went and ordered a bunch of her stamps today too. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. I don't have any of them. Carabelle or something like that. Um... Anyway, they're beautiful stamps. I was watching Gail Augustinelli stamp with them today, and I was hooked. So here's the next paper. Aren't they stunning with the women and the beautiful roses around them? And, you know, this one with the beautiful framing around them. She sure does a fantastic job. She also designs uh, papers for um, <clears throat> Blue Fern Studio, if you're interested. Here's this one. I love this. I love how this yellow came out. Really beautiful. And then all the other soft buttercup yellows with it. And this one. Hope you're seeing these. <laughs> Hope I'm not off screen. Let me move this little thing here. And look at this one. Isn't that stunning? Look at all the beautiful in it. Oh. She sure does a beautiful job of designing. Here's this one. This paper is so me. I just, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. <clears throat> you have to forgive me, my throat has been coming and going all day today. <clears throat> so this is the first time I've printed out a complete digital kit plus extra papers to go with it. Plus I have some of my own coffee and tea dyed papers to go. I don't know if we'll get all of this in our junk journal unless we decide to make a altered book. We'll see. Okay, now these I should have printed differently. I did reprint these. You can see that my I did not get the whole thing on. I think I had it cropped to whatever. Anyway, I had the, the wrong button pressed, but then I printed them out smaller. I am still going to use these. I will cut them into different sizes and use them like on the back of cards and stuff. So there's that one. Here's this one. I did the same way. I did it with all of these. First printer, uh, <laughs> first printer error, first digital printer error, but they're still beautiful and definitely can still be used. Now these were the envelopes and I also printed those out large and I went back and printed them out small, but I can still utilize these in, in the book. They can be little uh, tuck or uh, little pull-out pockets. 
There's this one. Gosh, it's just stunning. Isn't that something? Luscious colors in them. Mmm. So, so pretty. Look at the pretty roses in them. And the colors are so rich and just awesome. And then here's this one, like a little file folder front. And then you can see these printed out too large. You cut them off at the edges. I probably did this as well. But then I reprinted these much smaller. So that'll be better. And then here's these. They're reprinted now. And you can actually see the top of the tag and the words. And then there's this one. And the pocket, much smaller. And this one, much smaller. Now this is those other tags that you saw, and those are printed too large. I can still use them. They'll make great, great cards for writing on the back. So that's the new kit, or my new kit. One of Jennifer Bishop's uh, digital designs. She has many. And they are absolutely stunning, every one of them. And uh, so you'll have to take a look at them. Her uh, shop is Dreams, etc. Et and uh, that's Dreams with a Z, D R E A M Z, etc. Then I printed out. Some of the coffee dyed papers, and I just printed them on regular paper so I could print front and back. My um, presentation paper is Epson presentation paper, and I can only print it on one side of that. So these are her coffee and tea dyed and avocado dyed papers uh, by, mm, I can't remember her name, but she's at One Du Bar crafts on Etsy. There we go. Her name is Denise. And uh, junk journals, avocado papers, ephem ephemera, and supplies. So I bought this pack here. It was a coffee, tea, and avocado digital. And uh, I didn't print them all out. I think there's 15, like 15 per pack. But I will link Denise's um, shop down below. But these are what I did print out. And I just printed them front and back side, however it wanted to go. And uh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's where avocado died. Oh, and here's this one. This one must be a tea dyed. It's a little bit lighter. Very pretty. I um, will utilize some of these in the junk journal. That one's very light, but still very, very pink. Not very pink, but it's pink. Oh, I love this one. Isn't that something? 
And that one is extremely light. There's this one. And you may see duplicates here because I did print uh, double-sided. And I printed two of each design of each of the ones I had chose to print out. I think I chose 20 different ones. Looks like a little beehive hiding in there. And that one is very light. So I think we must be repeating now. Yeah. Yep. There we are back to the avocado died. Yeah. So anyway, that is some of the papers that I've chosen for this. And then, of course, oh, I have my own dyed papers to throw in here. This one is a tea dyed with a, um, it was a red raspberry tea. And let's see, is that one tea or is it eco dyed? You know what? This one is eco dyed. It's flowers. Um, my husband had given me a bunch of flowers and when they were exhausted, I put them down on the paper and let them sit for quite a while. And this is what happened. So I have that. I don't know if it'll go with this pack, but it's still beautiful paper. I think I'll put some of these on my website, <clears throat> on my Etsy. They're beautiful papers, so I might as well put them somewhere, huh? Some of them got um, from the plants. They got all bumpy. <clears throat> That's a piece of watercolor paper. That's just playing around. And let's see what else. These are really heavy coffee dyed papers. <clears throat> I used a mixed media paper just to see what they would do. And I coffee dyed some pretty little laces. I left them all stuck together. So I do have those to use in this album. And they'll probably go well since the design on the Jen's Digitals is so awesome and flowery and lacy. This was just a real thin piece of paper that stuck together totally. And this one looks like it has a rose. And what else? I guess nothing else. So, next project. It is a digital kit by Jennifer Bishop. She has the web shop, Dreams, D-R-E-A-M-Z, etc. 
And she also has an Etsy shop named the same. And her name is Jennifer Bishop or Jen Bishop. And she makes some absolutely stunning kits. And I will also be using Diane's papers from Wonder Bar. She has some beautiful coffee and tea and avocado dyed papers. Plus my own. So I look forward to seeing you in just a few days. Bye for now.